Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I have a lot of friends who intend to learn Java and write a lot of programs in Java so that they could develop their career as a Java developer. But most of them have been facing issues on how to download, install and configure Eclipse so that they could write their Java programs in Eclipse. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how to download, install and configure an Eclipse so that we can write our Java programs in Eclipse. So, Let's get started. So, first and foremost, to download Eclipse, you need to go to google.com and you need to say download Eclipse. The moment you say this and try to search, you will get this particular link. Now, there is a link that says Eclipse IDE for Java development. You need to click on this particular link and the page that opens up is your page where you can download Eclipse. So here you have an option wherein you can download the installable of Eclipse. Now the version that we are downloading here is 2022.03. Now the minimum requirement for this 2022.03 is that the JDK that it needs is a minimum of Java 11. Okay, so you need to at least have JDK 11 for you know installing Eclipse ID 2022.03. So you need to click on download. And it will bring you to this particular screen wherein you need to again say download. So the moment you say this, the download will start happening here. Okay. And it will download your Eclipse. So here you can see our Eclipse has got downloaded. Now when we click on this particular link, it will show us the installer. Okay. So this is the Eclipse installer. Now, in my particular machine, I have already downloaded uh, Java 11. So here, if you see in my C program file, Java, you can see I already have Java 11 installed here. Okay, I have a JDK 11 which is already installed. So for you, you will have to first go ahead and install JDK 11 and then start with your Eclipse installation. So once you come here, you need to select the first option that says Eclipse ID for Java developers. And you have a choice of, so here you can see it is automatically selecting JDK 11 that I had installed in my machine. You can go ahead and even download a specific JRE if you want. In case you can see it takes up to JRE 17. But I am going with the minimum one that is JDK 11.14 which is the minimum requirement. So I am taking up that. You can also select where do you want your you know Eclipse to get installed. I am selecting the folder E and Java 2022.03. I am keeping it default. I am not changing the folder. Whatever it comes, I am taking up. You can select from here and change. If you want to, let's say, go in some other folder and want to install it, you can go ahead and do that. Okay. Again, it asks you for two options, whether you want to create a start menu entry and whether you want a desktop shortcut. So, as of now, uh, maybe I don't want a start menu entry. I just want a desktop shortcut. And then you can go and say install. This installation takes a little time. It depends on how much your bandwidth is of internet. It might uh, take some time or it does not even, you know, it sometimes it happens even quickly. So you need to wait for this whole installation to happen. And uh, then your Eclipse is ready to use. So once, as you can see here, it is downloaded, you will be able to see this launch button. You can use the launch button to launch your Eclipse for the first time. So you can click on the launch button and it will start Eclipse ID 2022.03. Okay. I'll just close this to show you that it has created a shortcut on my desktop. Now, once you come here, this is basically where you choose a workspace. Which workspace do you want to work on and uh, save all your programs? So you can either select the default one and you can remember where the workspace is or you can choose your own workspace. So I'll prefer choosing my own workspace here. So I will go to my folder and I will choose my workspace. Okay. So you can choose the workspace uh, that you want. And once you are okay with whatever workspace that you have chosen, you can click on the launch button. Now, uh, it says, may, because earlier I was using older versions of Eclipse, this is giving me, you can still go ahead and say continue. That's okay because we are using a newer version. It should not be a problem. So you can go ahead and say select. Uh, you know and continue now 
what you can do for, uh, uh, next is you can go to file and you can say new and you can say java project okay so this is how you can create your java project and you can name it as some project that you want let's say my first project and you can go ahead and select whatever version of java you want you can select any of these versions i am continuing with java se 11 you can go ahead and even select java se 1.8 and then maybe say finish so this is how your project gets created you can further go and add various classes interfaces or whatever different elements that you want to create in your java project if you are interested in how to create a java project you can see a link here that i have shared where you can learn how to create a java project once it is configured and what are the various uh, other uh, you know elements that you can go and create in a java project I will also share the link of how to create a Java project and various different elements of a Java project below in the description box. So you can even check it out there. I will also be sharing the links of other interesting Java programs that I have shared on my channel on the various different concepts of Java. So you can even check them out and get gain the maximum from those videos. Please comment on my videos. Your comments help me, encourage me further to create more interesting videos for you. Like my videos if you like my content, share it with your friends, families and colleagues so that everybody can benefit from it and please subscribe to my channel, here is the subscribe button so please 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 subscribe to my channel so that you can always get in the notification for my videos and uh, you know you can uh, leverage the you know hard work and the benefit you know that you will be getting from it. So that is it for today, thank you, bye bye.